Finding that on the list right now. Three players try to blast a solo player within 30 seconds by dropping bob bombs. Avoiding the bob bombs? Don't run wild, be strategic. Try to hit the runner. I say try and hit the runner. Coordinate your bomb drops. Try saying that to a team of AI. You just basically hold it sideways and you move left or right for both teams, but for the ones dropping the bombs, you just simply press the 2 button. You have to be really good at knowing where to place the bomb. Because otherwise, something like that would happen. Uh, Birdo! Birdo! Move, will ya? You see, look at that. I was trying my hardest to get a toe there, and Birdo was kept getting in the way. Peach was the one that actually got her there. And yet, this was the Mario Party that introduced Waluigi with the Rose. I actually forgot to point that out in the previous um, two mini games, but yeah. Okay, Toad is using the twice candy. That's basically the thrice candy, but instead you roll two dice instead of three. Ten and seven. Oh, and also, if you actually get double sevens, you still basically get 30 coins. But, this is actually the big kicker. If you get triple sevens, you probably would be thinking, I'm going to get 50 coins. Nope, you actually get 100 coins in this. How do I know this? Because Nintendo Capri Sun did it when the Runaway Guys played this exact board. So there you go, Toda rode the uh, rapids and has enough coins for the star. Right, let's have oh, oh, it was a bolo candy, never mind. Right, let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, the bolo candy, if you pass anybody, you get to steal 10 coins from them. Now, let me show you the proper definition of how to use the slow go candy. You want to try and swing the Wii remote, that's one number before the one you want. There you go. Because if I did it dead on at 4, it would have given me a 5 instead. Great fuzzy fast track! Donkey Kong will hold you to a star space! Today is your lucky day! I like how Ballyhoo is I say, you vision star, victory is in sight when we're only on the fourth turn. <laughs> Where would the next star be? The suspense is uh, yeah yeah yeah. Oh right in front of Toadette, well to be honest, I think Toadette was gonna get the next star anyway. One more moment, please! Treachery is afoot! Donkey Kong spaces are now Bowser spaces! I can't do it as good as Proton John, I'm sorry! <laughs> Alright, Peach. Just a voice the piranha plants for the second time. I know, having an entire row of three piranha plants that all do the same thing, it's kind of mean, that is. Anyway, our first four-player minigame. And yeah, there are a lot of four-player minigames. Oh, this is, the, this is the game. This is the game that I never, ever win in. Punch-a-bunch. 
Punch the statue to pieces! Throw a punch when the glove swells up to do the most damage. Don't just punch a lot. It's better to punch only when the glove is largest. Yeah, that's what it says. And every time I actually do the largest setting, it always recognizes me doing it as the smallest setting. Just watch. Yep. Yeah. Did you see? Did you happen to notice that everybody, apart from me, already made a crack on the Bowser statue, even though their glove was smallest to mine? So it's like, their fist was a certain size, but my fist was bigger, yet they still did more damage than me. That's what I am on about. I hate that minigame. I used to be really good at that minigame, but then all of a sudden, I just ended up being terrible at it. I have no idea why. But yeah, I feel like this is going to be a high scoring game. And also, by the way, this was the very first board ever where I actually put a video of me achieving Chugga Conroy's dream of passing by a star and saying, no, I don't want to buy it. Because I was more than three stars ahead, and I was guaranteed to do it. Toad, you could have landed on the Bowser space to screw up Birdo then. Right, let's have a look. How far away is Birdo? One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get her with a seven. And also, if you see a candy space like this, or a candy shop, if you're using a transformation candy, that is basically these yellow ones, you'll not be able to pick up any candy. At all. There was some, there was some blue candy that also transforms you as well. By the way, so yeah, there are four different color candies. There's red, there's yellow, there's green, there's blue. The red ones are always indicating the dice blocks. The yellow ones are always about transformations. The green ones are kind of semi, and the blue ones are kind of semi as well. No, the blue ones are definitely transformation ones as well. <laughs> yeah, you can actually do that anytime. Okay, the next star. So that's why I told her went to the left because she knew the next star space was going to appear there. I get it. And Peach rolls a perfect ten, and gets a bowl of candy of her own. And she's got the Springo candy. What that candy does is, you will throw a dart at a wheel. And whichever person you hit determines who you're going to spring to. And there is actually a set timing to that wheel that I will tell you right now. Because the dart always hits at 12 o'clock, but... If you want to hit a particular space, you want to make sure that space is facing at 8 o'clock in order to guarantee what you want. And when I say 8 o'clock, I mean, like say, up there is 12, down there is 8. It's down here where you want to aim. Anyway, Alpine Assault... Snowboard down the slope while avoiding obstacles. Use jumps to avoid the obstacles. The obstacles are basically the uh, Mr. Blizzard snowmen. You basically move left and right by using the key turn. And when you're midair, if you press A or B and hold on to it while doing the rotation, 
You get to actually pick up a bit of speed when you land. But that's if you do like a really good turn. Only problem with this minigame is the AI loves to shove you around at the beginning all the time. Case in point. Oh, see, Peach trying to shove me into the Mr. Blizzard there. See, look, I was actually doing a good skill jump then. And Peach bumped into me and affected it. Nope. I got dead last because they kept bumping into me. That's the only problem. You just can't get away from the AI because they love shoving you around all the time. It's annoying. And it can't be helped. It really can't. I wish that they would learn to just back off. But... It's AI. They love to make everybody's game miserable as heck. Right, let's have a look. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four. I need at least a five. I can't guarantee that I'll get them, but I'll try. Got him. Of course, Peach is probably going to steal 10 coins right back. Because if I was able to land on that um, happening space, I would have gotten away scot-free. Oh, never mind. Bird is actually helping me. The blow-away candy. If you pass anybody with that, you will blow them straight back to start. And she missed. Wow, Birdo only got three coins from that. Oh, two. Wow, that's even worse. Landing on the rapid space and only picking up two coins when Toadette picked up 20 on hers. Ah, Peach didn't get me. <laughs> nice. I don't know what... Oh, yeah, the green candy is the Springo candy, of course. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, another four-player minigame. What's this one going to be? Catastrophe. When I um, had this minigame, every time I popped up, I always misread it as thinking it was Catastrophe. I always thought it was Catastrophe, but not Catastrophe. Finish first in a two-lap cart race against your foes. Take the inside curve on the turn to finish a lap a little faster. And it's because of this minigame that taught me how to become a better Mario Kart player. And speaking of Mario Kart, it is Mario Kart controls. Turning with the Wii remote, two to accelerate, one to break. Of course, once again, the AI is going to be shoving. Birdo is in the lead currently. You do actually need to use the brake on that bit, but you can actually get around that bend without using the brake. It's hard, but it is possible.
That is if the AI doesn't shove you into the grass, that is. There we go. Three seconds slower than my record. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I actually saw a record on the runaway guys where the, their record was 41 seconds. Was I was like thinking, how the blinking out did he manage to set that? And I'm on a creaky chair, as per usual. I can't guarantee I'll get to the star this turn because I am more than 20 spaces away from it. Are you serious? I almost, I almost feel like Toadette knows what's going on. Because she needed 10 coins to get the star. And she improvised by getting the bonus of 10 coins by rolling two of the same number. So let's see, how many spaces away am I? Let's see, 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, no, no, no! Hey, 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 hey! Get back on the map! Right. Let's, let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 20 yeah, I'm twenty-three spaces away from it. All right. But I'll still roll the twice candy nonetheless. Four. And ah, oh, if it was a one, I would have landed on the Bowser space. And Peach lands on the happening space again. So everybody apart from me has landed on a happening space. Oh, 2v2. Two cart mini games in a row, bumper balloons. And it's right on my screen now. Alright. You and your teammate must pop balloons that match your team colour before your rivals pop theirs first. Watch where you're driving, don't accidentally pop the other team's balloons. I would go over the controls because it's exactly the same as before. Certain mini games have the exact same um, control method. And it's actually kind of jerkish for Peach and Toadette. As, as I know, to, for Birdo and me. Because they put one of the opponent team's color balloon direct, directly in front of us. And I was about to get that last balloon, but then Birdo blocked me to allow Peach to um, get it. And also, if you drive on the grass, you are going to be driving a lot slower. Just as an FYI. <laughs> it just looks like Toto opened her mouth and then heard Waluigi's voice come out of it. <laughs> oh dear.
Right. Oh, okay, the next star is up top. Right then. 